Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another fishing trip with Bill Dance that we're calling PK's First Fish. Bill's dear friend and fishing buddy today is P.K., who manages the Holiday Inn Express here in Palm Bay. Now, just a hop, skip, jump, and a holler from the Holiday Inn Express are the Barramundi Lakes that Bill likes to visit when he's in the area. And today, the two friends are traveling a short 30-minute drive to St. Cloud to meet up with Byron Hennessy, who owns and operates Osceola Outback Adventures. And on today's outing, Bill's invited his longtime friend, PK, who has never ever caught a fish before. Hey, this should be a fun trip. So let's join in. I'm opening the bale and holding the line on my index finger. I'm let I'm throwing it with my wrist, watch. I throw it, see it hit? All it is is rod tip, wrist, and eye coordination. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the rod, there you go, and load the rod, now throw it. You did good. Now bring your hand forward, there you go. Now drop the rod tip, now just twitch it. Doom, 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 doom. You think you got it? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Byron, how much has changed in the past year? Almost everything, Bill. Uh, we've, we've created a second impoundment with more Bear Monday. We've added 8,000 more fish to the property, uh, retail shop, and uh, it, it's just growing. It's growing as fast as we can. We can't even hardly keep up with it, to tell you the truth. Where else in the United States can you find these fish? Bill, this is the only place in the northern and western hemisphere of the world where you can catch this fish. So we are the only place in the United States you can catch a bear money. So these fish originally came from the Queensland? Yes, sir. They came from and northern Australia. Yes, sir. And how big do they grow there? They get up to 100 pounds, a little over 100 pounds, actually. They're can you imagine tying into well, a hundred, a 50-pound bear money? Absolutely. And for us, you know, we catch a largemouth bass. We consider anything over 8 pounds a trophy. They don't consider a bear Monday a trophy unless it's over 100 centimeters. So it's got to be a meter long. It's got to be almost three feet long to be considered a trophy fish in Australia. Good Lord. Watch him jump. Ooh. Come on, nephew. Keep your rod tip up. Look at you grinding. You got your teeth all together. <laughs> look, look at the fish PK fight. Give me a little bit of slack. Come on around. Look at the size of that one, buddy. Yeah, that's a crack fish. PK's first fish, a bear Monday. The only place in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. Thank you. Love it. Now squeeze those little black things, pull those little black things forward. Forward. Yeah, now pull them forward. Hey. Thank you. You're the man. Thank you. Hey. That was great. That was great. You did good. Thank you. There he is. Whoa, what a strike. Came back and got it. Stripping line, PK. I just like catching them. A big old American snook. They're just so powerful. That is. Stuck his nose down in that moss. Look at, oh boy, look at the size of that one. Open up there, bear rough. Look at, look at that one, boy. Okay. See you around. Saltwater is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops, and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Quantum Rods and Reels. Quantum Performance Tune. And by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for great information that can improve your fishing. When you get it out there, you work it, look, work it about three feet and just let it sit. But keep your line in case one hits it where you can jerk. You walking the dog with it now, my favorite angler. Yes, sir. <laughs> Whew, what a bull. There he is, come on with him. Hold him up, hold your rod up. Oh, I had one just blow mine up and I missed it. Hold him up, just keep your rod just kind of up. Playing back, oh, that's a nice one. Nice one, PK. That's a million dollar <laughs> shot. <laughs> the who? Bring it right this way. Here, I got him. Just bring your line. I got him. Just pull him up here like that. Way to go, buddy. And you see, you got to watch it. He's got a row of that gills right there will cut you. And they're just like, it's like a razor blade. You, know, right. you need to shave? <laughs> oh, it'll cut you. Yep. You ready to turn him loose? Yes, sir. Let him go. PK, how long? How long have you lived in Palm Bay? Ten years, exact. Ten years? Yes, sir. Where were you born? New Delhi, India. In New Delhi? Yes, sir. How long have you been in the United States? 13 years. Did you fish when you were in New Delhi? Yeah, I ate a lot of fish. <laughs> what kind of fish do they have in New Delhi? Uh, they have a lot of drum fish, they have catfish, but some of the deep, uh, deep sea fishes, uh, it's called pomfret, I don't know what's called over here. It's a very famous delicacy over there. Yeah. So. Kingfish is there. Kingfish? Yes, sir. In salt water? Yep. Salt water because the whole country is surrounded by ocean. Yeah. So you got a lot of uh, salt water fish from Mumbai. And it's uh, the, the main delicacy over there is curry. So uh, like they cook a lot of fish in, in the Indian curry, you know, the gravy and all that stuff. So the kingfish tastes, I guess, better than anything else. Pop. Yeah, how fat that one is, the girth on it. What is the uh, biggest resource there? Human resource. Huh? Human resource. <laughs> we got a lot of people over there. What is the main uh, agriculture? Main agriculture is wheat, cotton, and rice. Oh, really? Yes, sir. What made you uh, want to come to the United States, PK? I came to do my further studies. I wanted to study more, but didn't end up studying, started working. I used to come here a lot before as a kid growing up on vacation. Yeah. So I always had this desire to study. I did my master's in finance in New Delhi. So I wanted to study more, came to New Jersey, but the economy, was going down that time, so I decided not to study and start working. Started my career as a front desk clerk at a small hotel in Fort Pierce, and then uh, the journey started from there on. Okay, goodbye. Today's show is brought to you in part by 
Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Kamikatsu, world's finest hooks. And by Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Kamikatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley. Catch more fish. Garmin, bite your fish, not your fish finder. And by Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. There's one under the hook. Hopefully it takes a bite. Oh, there he is. Barely twitch it. Didn't pop it. Nope. Oh, you got one on. So what kind of rods are we using? These are uh, Quantum Smoke. These are S3 rods. They're medium heavy rod. They've got a fast tip with a tremendous amount of backbone in them. They're easy to handle? They're yeah. lightweight? Oh yeah, they're easy to handle and lightweight. And the reels we're using, they're smoke too. We're using X9 Berkeley line. It's a uh, they're nine individually interwoven braids, which create a tremendous amount of strength. That's a nice fish. I love it. <laughs> I think you need to shave it. Hey, 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 you for me. You got something to release it. Uh, I got him. That is a pretty one, isn't it? Yeah, huh? it is. Really good fish. A little slimy. Yeah, he's pretty slimy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell him bye? Yeah. You want to well, kiss him? Yeah, let's kiss him. <laughs> no, I'm going to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, bye, so. bye, fishy. Bye, that fish. was a good fish. Right, here we go. So, Uncle Billy, I have a question. What do you call this top water lure we're using today? Do what? What's the name of the lure we're using today? It's called a head and feather dress zero spook. And you know, in the family of surface lures, this series is one of the oldest and the largest in the family of topwater baits. You got the rattling spook, you got the super spook, you got the chugging spook, the wounded spook, the zero puppy spook, and one of my favorites is the one knocker. Look at him hit it. That's a good one. That good. That's a good one right there. Bait's over on the other side of his face, on the other side of his head. That's a good one, isn't it? That is a good one. Huh? That is a nice fish. Wow, that's an amazing fish. You like that? Yep. Huh? How big do you think it is? Oh, I don't know. He's he's a pretty good size. Don't yeah, you I know. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yep. Huh? Yep. Is, is, yeah. What's wrong? No, nothing. I just need some shave. <laughs> some slight shave. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn him loose. Yes, sir. Hey, we want to go back up under the boat where it's dark. We tell people, you know, they ask about the fish, and I said, look, if you took a tarpon and a snook and, and uh, mixed them together, that's what you've got. You've got a fish that's going to get aerial. He's going to jump out of the water. Uh, so that, that you get that aspect of the tarpon. Well, well basically, what you've got, you've got it's just a, it's an Australian snook. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, well, bear money is an Australian you've snook. You got that right. Yep. And I and you, and you imagine how hard uh, our snook fights. I mean, they, the strength they have and that powerful tail, and the way they just surge that water and take off. Imagine a hundred pound snook. 
<laughs> oh, he, I, I don't know how you did a telephone pole yeah. to land him. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Or lots of time, have your lunch, but you better bring your lunch. And dinner, too. Yes. And you might even think about breakfast the next day. <laughs> Great day in the morning. That's right. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. Do you ever use your special edition Bill Dance rods? Absolutely. And you know, I was surprised that they turned out so well in both bait casting and spinning. Now, these rods are lightweight, strong, sensitive, well constructed with IM6 graphite. D ring guides and EVA handles. Now, the reels for bait casting, they've got a great drag system and they cast so smoothly. Check them out at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, the new class of comfort, and by Finn Knorr, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed captioning provided by the Build Dance Store. Check us out online. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, Sonar Combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. Anglers looking for a way to make their smaller boats stay put in shallow water? Check out the PowerPole Heavy Duty Spike. The spike helps hold small boats exactly where you want to keep them. It also secures the bow of a bass boat that has power poles. Each spike comes with a nylon dock line and push grips to help you easily sink it into sand or mud. Need to stay steady in one spot? Spike that spot. You can fish there as long as you wish. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. You got him. You got him, PK. Good deal. Nice. The growth rate on these fish is absolutely phenomenal. Now, you said you've added a new impoundment. Yes, sir. All right, you put, naturally you put uh, fish in the new impoundment. What, what size fish did you put when, in the new impoundment? When we, we did the second impoundment, the fish that we brought in were about a pound to a pound and a half. And that was July 1st of uh, 2018 that we put those in. They've been in here about a year. Now, all right, a pound? Yes, sir, about a pound. All right, in this length of time, that's been, you said about a year. Been almost a year. All right, how much will those fish grow in a year? Well, right now, that one pound fish is averaging about six pounds, so. Really? Yes, sir. Yep. That's we phenomenal can, growth. They have a growth, our, our growth on, on, our, on our Bear Monday is a lot like the snook in our, in our you know, river system and salt water system, and the fact that they grow really well late spring to uh, late fall and then throughout the winter they get kind of lethargic or dormant and they don't eat a lot and they don't grow a lot so our growth rates through the summertime at about a half a pound per fish per month so the growth rate slows down of course with yes, water sir. temperature water temperature really affects these fish it dictates everything about it we have a deep water well system and it pumps about 76 degree water year round so when we see we're going to have cold weather a few days out or the day before, we'll turn on that deep water well system and we pump warm water straight into the impoundments. What is a Bear Monday's uh, 60 degrees. Is that so tolerant? Yeah, 60 degrees. It's like uh, it's like if you went down south for peacocks or other exotic type fish, once that 60 degree water temperature hits, you, you, you might as well dig a hole. You're going to be burying fish. So. They can't take the cold. They but, can't take anything below about yeah. 60 degrees. And, and again, you were talking about temperature really being the main factor for basically all species. You've talked about it in your old shows, is that if it's hot, the water's hot, it affects the oxygen content. And where a lot of fish like cold weather because it brings the oxygen content up or holds the oxygen in the water, they can't take the cold weather. So we really have to, to keep a handle on what, what our water temperature is. Don't horse him. Look at the size of that fish right there. That's the man from New Delhi. 
Oh, there he is. Wow. He's a big one. That's a mammal. There he is. He's, wow. a, he's a big one. It is a big fish. You ready to let like it go? It. Yes, sir. We'll let it go. Huh? I'll just raise it in the water. It's a big one. Yep. That is a good fish. Okay. I'm going to turn him loose. You ready? Well, PK, you've been in the United States 13 years. Yes. We've been friends for six or seven years. Yes, sir. I've been staying at the Holiday Inn Express in Palm Bay for at least that long. Yes, sir. What do you think of your first fishing trip? This is incredible, amazing. I can't even thank you, and especially in this area, the Osceola Outback Adventures. This place is great. I, I, I couldn't even imagine that I was going to have this much of fun. So this, uh, this is mind-blowing, I'm telling you. This is one of the fishes you can fish anywhere else in the world, especially in the United States, and we're doing it over here in Florida. And the fun was the excitement of watching them hit the topwater bait, wasn't it? Yes, yes, especially with that bait. You're right. Today was the first time you ever caught a fish, wasn't yes, it? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Well, it's been fun. we got to do it again. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. It's so. my pleasure and honor. You're not even a fisherman. You're a true gentleman, and uh, I'm honored to know a person like you. Well, thank you, buddy. Thank you. We've got a lot of good days ahead of us. And, and so. if you want the best paramundi, this is the place. Osceola Outback Adventures. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week.